It is always a good time when we have David Ewing around. Yes, I love it. By the way, you just got a promotion. You are now our official Local on 2 resident historian. Wonderful. Yay! I'll, yes. keep, I'll keep coming back then. Uh, and I heard you're going to talk about stadiums today. Stadiums. Last night after midnight, the yep. Metro Council passed a $2.1 new billion dollar stadium for the Tennessee Titans. So we're going to oh talk about... Oh my gosh. About, so it's like official. It's it done. is official. Yes. It's done. Let's go. So I'm going to talk about four historic stadiums here in Nashville. Uh, only one is still standing. Dudley Field, okay. which okay. actually is now called First Bank Stadium. Right. It's all about naming rights. And it was built originally in 1922 wow. oh as the home of the Vanderbilt Commodores, named after Dr. William Dudley, who was dean at the medical school. And he started an organization that became the Southeastern Conference. Yep. Yes. Look at that. Uh, We're John learning. F. Kennedy spoke there in 1963 during the 90th anniversary of Vanderbilt. And uh, it was the first southern stadium built for just football use only. Okay. Painted battleship gray. Which, wow. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. The Commodores and all that. Totally, totally. Um, the first Music City Bowl was there. And, of course, the Tennessee Oilers, when they came yes. to Throwback. the state, they went to Memphis. That didn't work out so well. Yeah. So they came to Nashville and played one year in 1998. I, I, and Saw I still love seeing like old school Oilers logos around I town. Like too. people are still repping like the old school. I love that. Me and too. the first Music City Bowl was yes. also at Dudley Field. Uh, Solfordell, our old baseball park, okay. which was 99 years old. Wow. It was built in 1870 after the, after the Civil War, baseball started in Nashville because the Union Army that came here occupied the city. They introduced the city of Nashville to baseball. And it was located actually where First Horizon Park is today. Uh, sadly, we tore it down in 1969. The Nashville Vols used to play there. And it had the famous right field dump, which was kind of an incline up the hill. It was only 262 feet from home plate. And lots of concerts were out there, too, yeah. uh, during the 60s. The last year, it was a, a racetrack, actually. And, okay. and sadly, when we tore it down, it was not only the oldest uh, minor league ballpark in the country it was the oldest ballpark. It was older than wow. the Polo Grounds, Ebbets Field, Wrigley, Fenway, Yankee Stadium. I love this rich history of stadiums and sports in, in, in Tennessee and in Nashville. This is so great. Yes. So Greer Stadium, the old home of the Nashville Sounds, yeah. the AAA ballpark, uh, it's 1978 to 2019. Look at that. Look at that old school guitar, I too. Know. That guitar is now, uh, AJ Capital has moved that over to Live Nation's headquarters. They okay. literally bought yeah. that guitar and refurbished it. So it's, it's so cool. It still lives. Is this where uh, Michael Jordan played? Michael Jordan, he won three championships, the three-peat in a row. And then in, after his is. father was killed, he played a year of baseball in Birmingham, and it was a doubleheader where he, that's Greer Stadium. Where he, yeah. Isn't that, that amazing? Is an awesome Just photo. an amazing photo. He, he did not dominate in baseball, <laughs> unfortunately. He could have gone pro, though. There's but a hey, whole, like, hey. 30 for 30 documentary on that. Yes. You know, Jordan rides the bus. He was great. He the, was great. The last great stadium was called Wilson Park. It is located kind of near where Greer Stadium was in the uh, now called Wedgwood Houston area. Tom Wilson was the owner of the Nashville Elite Giants, a Negro League team, started in 1920, but the Wilson Park started in 1929. It was only the second uh, Negro League park that was owned by an African American. And the Nashville Vols, who played at Sulphurdale, actually right. played there occasionally when their park flooded, which was wow. kind of often. Right. And then it was the first baseball stadium in Nashville with lights there, too. So it only lasted 31 years. 1946, the Elite Giants, Tom Wilson, no longer around. But we've had great stadiums. Yes, here. absolutely. And First Horizon is still, I mean, what? I think it's been voted like the number one best minor league ba ballpark it, it three years in a row, according to Forbes and magazine. who's coming to Nissan Stadium next week for three days? Taylor Swift. Taylor there Swift. we go. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Man. Big time. That's right. Oh. Nashville's we got to make it happen. Rocking, yes. So. Thank you so much for being here. By the way, I love learning and just, just chatting the history of this uh, of, the, of this rich city with you. You are right. a walking encyclopedia of history, and we appreciate you. See you all yes. soon. <laughs> yes, you will. So to get your own history lesson, follow David at the Nashville I Wish I Knew on Instagram.